All right. Hi, my name is Jules Hansen, and today I'm going to show you an exploration in slang use in a Reddit subculture. I'm going to start with my motivation for this project and the goals that I had, the data pipeline that I used, then an overview of the topics that were extracted, and then some future steps that could be taken. So the rate of slang development has increased a lot in recent years due to the development of the internet. There are now a large amount of there's a large amount of communication between people where distance is no longer a factor. That means that people with similar interests can talk about talk about those interests without any geographical connection or any personal connection besides that shared interest. So these groups can develop subcultures and then within subcultures slang develops. I used Leighton Dirichlet allocation or LDA to find groups of related words called topics. And using this method, I wanted to see if I could find any meaning in the slang words based on the topics that it ex extracts. And then uh, possibly figure out how useful a comment may be in a finance context based on the topics that is classified in. In January of this year, a group on Reddit known as Wall Street Bets influenced the price of GameStop stock, among others driving the price up more than 20 fold. So I chose to look at a few finance related sub, uh, communities also known as subreddits. I scraped 650,000 comments from six different subreddits, some that tend to have slang and some that tend to have less. For data processing, I did some natural language, standard natural language pre-processing. Start with expanding contractions, then lemmatization, which is where you uh, find the root word, for example, uh, ran and running have the same root word run. So it would change the root word so that every root word to that root word, so it would be grouped together. Then remove stop words, which are words that appear all the time, such as I, and, and the. And then I filtered um, by how frequently these words were seen, removing infrequently used words, hopefully to remove misspellings or just words that don't really show up. And then for further processing, I checked the remaining words against an English dictionary and removed those that appeared. So this is the topic distribution that my model produced. I want to draw your attention to the closeness of topics one and two represents a strong similarity between them or that they are talked about at the same time a lot. Um, and then four and five are far removed from the other topics. So looking at those topics um based on the words in them um topic one had more of what i would consider meme stocks and things like that um amc was also influenced by wall street bets so you see it appearing and in the context of the gamestop stock wall street bets used the rocket ship emoji um in the context of uh the stock going to the moon Topic two was more traditional investments like Roth IRAs, which are retirement accounts, big name stocks like YouTube and Netflix. VT Sachs is the largest mutual fund in the world and ETF is a type of security. Topic three was contained more modern investments uh, such as Big, which is the most well-known cryptocurrency. Um, Robinhood was mentioned, it's a trading app. Um, an interesting inclusion in this topic was the word ramen, which I believe is one of the only words that appeared high up in any topic uh, from the subreddit frugal. So if you're being frugal, I guess they suggest eating a lot of ramen. Topic four was words that I would classify as spam. Um, it was the only topic which in the top 30 words contained a swear word that wasn't contained in an acronym. It also had Elon for Elon Musk and Lambo, which is I think in the context of people gloating about money that they don't have or soon hope to acquire. And then topic five was where all the cryptocurrencies showed up besides Bitcoin. It also has the word hodl, which is an intentional misspelling of the word hold, which is used um, in the context of GameStop stock again, and other cryptocurrencies that are um, more volatile. Um, Uh, so to further this project, it would be helpful to scrape more data. The Reddit API is a rate limited rate limited based on requests and comments actually take a lot of requests despite not containing much data. Uh, I would like to improve the limitization. I found a lot of words weren't changed. So I would like to see how the results can be improved. 
My LDA model took a long time to train, so I believe there's still some optimization that could be done there. I was thinking of applying user, user filtering, uh, which would remove words that are uh, only used by a small number of users uh, to make sure that the words used have been widely adopted um, by a lot of users and not just some one person saying it a lot. And then it would also be interesting to see how slang usage changes over time. As I mentioned in the beginning of my presentation, slang changes and develops quickly on the internet. So it'd be interesting to see in what direction it goes. And finally, uh, I believe a recommender could be built along the lines of these topics if someone wanted to get an idea on how to understand a comment that might not make sense to them. And with that, I'll open it to any questions.